almost time to take out the trash, so I have got my May empties. Let's go ahead and get started with the Josie Marin. This is the whipped argon oil. The scent in this one that I got is called Vanilla Pear. I love Josie Marin. This is a fabulous uh, moisturizer that really does give a nice hydration to your skin. I love that, and I've got several backups of that. The Beekman 1802. This is called the Honey and Oats uh, Scrub Bar right here. Okay, so um, when I first got this bar and I, you know, took it out and the first couple times that I did use it, I did not feel those little scrubby granules in there. But now as I'm going through the bar, I'm starting to feel those little scrubby granules a little bit. Um, they're, it's not very much of them, but I do love the Beekman 1802. Love it. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Moisturizing Body Oil. Um, I love this. I think there's one of these in every single empty that I do. I mean, that's, that's how much I love it. Now, this right here is from Madam C.J. Walker, and this is called the um, Wonderful Deep uh, Conditioning Mask. And I gave a really nice hydration to my skin and my hair. Let my hair really like soft and silky. Really a good one, so I did love that one. This is the L'Occitane uh, Pape de Lis. This is exfoliating uh, delicious paste. This is from the almond line right here. I love this. This is so wonderful. Normally what I only ever use this for is whenever I'm exfoliating just my hands. I it just it. smells so good. It really leaves your hands, I mean, super soft. Does a really, really good job. All right, this one right here is by Kenra, and this is the blow dry spray. And this spray, this is the one where you spray it in your hair and, uh, you know, it cuts your blow dry time down quite a bit. The scent of this is phenomenal. I do love this. It's a great one. I've got the Sanitas Lemon Cream Scrub that I finished up. I love this. This is my absolute favorite favorite uh, manual exfoliator for my face. I love this one. For me, this is, it's not like a real gentle, gentle exfoliator, but it's not like one of potent as strength. It's like what the Derma E or like a Lancer is. It's just that beautiful, like that middle, that middle ground, you know, where I really love it, where I can use it every single morning if I want. It's, it's a fabulous product and it does have that, like that lemon drop scent to it. it smells really good. This one right here is the uh, BB from BB, and this is the uh, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. Now this one was the dry oil finishing spray. It did give some, uh, like a little bit of shine, you know, without, it give, the way that it spins it, um, it didn't like, you know, spit those oil spots all over my hair like a couple others have, but I did like that. It was really, really nice. So this is the Wild Ferns uh, Manuka Honey Facial Wash. I love this one. I get this off of Amazon. It is so wonderful. It is just like that fresh, sweet, like a honey scent to it. It is so, so good. Lathers beautifully um, and is very, very reasonably priced with the Moon Nuka honey in there. Oh, it's a great, great facial wash. All right, so this one right here was uh, Givagi, and this was one of the uh, Prism Lob Libras. Uh, powder in the shade and this one was called Vol Volet Rose. I love this one. Um, I use this for a long time. If I had not had so many other powders right now, I would definitely go ahead and repurchase this one. It is wonderful, especially like as a setting. You can use it as a setting powder or as a finishing powder, either one. I mean, it is it is just that good. Truth Treatments, and this one right here is the Transdermal Sea Balm. This is the Vitamin C. Now, I did like this, however, what I had discovered was is that the one that is in the little pot here that's like the gel, um, it does not have that brightening effect to it as what the uh, true treatments in the uh, bottle with the little dropper, that's the one that has the brightening effect to it. So that's what I really like. I really like a vitamin C with a little bit of that brightening effect, you know, because I do have uh, sun damage and you know what not to kind of you know fade away so but I did like this one it is it is really really a good good one one all right so from Beekman 1802 this is one of the little uh scent like little perfume sprays and this the scent in this one was called the Alang Alang and Tuberose this was so wonderful I mean if you love Alang Alang and if you love that Tuberose and just combine the mixture of both of them in a beautiful light scent like oh it's just is so good. I love that one. This is Tula, and this is called the Purifying Face uh, Cleanser. Ladies, I had this forever. forever. So concentrated, tiny little bit. Like, I mean, I, I can't tell you how long I've had this, but I mean, it is heavily scented. It did a really good job at really, you know, cleansing my skin, but man, it's... 
think that is the strongest smelling cleanser I have ever used. I finally polished off a MAC Fix Plus. This is, I love this one. This is what I always, do you know, I never really ever use this like to set my makeup. The only time I really ever use this is to do like, you know, eyeshadow on my lid if I really want that extra little pop factor to it. But yeah, I love that one. This is by L'Occitane and this one is the Almond Line and this is called the Delicious Hands little uh, size that I would keep in my purse. I love this one. It smells so good. It's got that beautiful, sweet, like almond yummy. I mean, it's just, a f I wish that they would come out with a perfume in this scent. It it's beautiful. Okay, so this is by Skin Better Science. This was thing was well over $100. This was their version of a vitamin C. I think you get one, like one ounce or half an ounce. But yeah, you only get a half, half of an ounce in here, well over a hundred bucks. Big mistake for me. I mean, this was did absolutely nothing. Um, it was supposed to have all of these wonderful, you know, things that's supposed to be. No. That's all I'm going to say is no. Uh, Beautylish came out with their own little line, I guess. And it's called Good Molecules. Now, this one right here was called the uh, Instant Cleansing Balm. This was really nice. Now, for me... This was, uh, you know, right up there with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, right up there with the Estee Lauder Balm, right up there with um, the uh, pharmacy, the green pharmacy, that one, the green one, um, right up there with that one, also along with the Drunk Elephant. I mean, you know, really all of those cleansing balms to me basically, you know, I mean, they're they basically all the same. So, yeah, I did like this one. I think right now I'm just trying to, um, you know, use up the balms that I have. I think like, you know, for me, what I'm going to start doing is going back to my uh, philosophy, purity, made simple. Um, you know, you can get a big, huge bottle of that stuff and it will last you so, so long where, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's just that's just my personal opinion because at night I do do a second cleanse. So what the purity doesn't get off or what any of those balms don't get off, I know that whatever I'm coming in with for my second cleanse will get all the rest of my makeup off. So I'm going back to the philosophy purity. I do have a couple more balms back there that I'm trying to finish off. But anyway, that's just my, my personal opinion. Okay, so this was by Salwa Sue, yeah, yeah. multi-cushion highlighter. Nice if you're looking for like, um, like some type of, I wouldn't really call it like a cream. It was a liquid, but it was real, real thin, thin consistency. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was nice. I did like it, and if I didn't have so many right now, I would, I would pick another one of them up, no problem. This is the Argon Color Stick in the shade Rosy and in the shade Pink Peony yeah. from Josie Marin. Um, this was the one that has the little, um, that has the Argon oil in it. It does have a nice little fresh scent to it. It is basically like a little cream. Uh, you can use this as a blush, as a blush, as you know, a little product on your lips or whatever. And the only reason why I am basically retiring these or going to go ahead and throw them away is because I've fallen in love with the NARS. And this is the liquid blush in the shade Orgasm. I love this stuff. It is amazing. Okay, another little thing that I'm going to go ahead and retire. This is the it Cosmetic. This is the Bye Bye Pores Illumination. This one is in the compact here. It just kind of makes me look like bluish gray, kind of like, you know, Walking Dead type. I do have this one right here, and this is what I really, really do love to set my under eyes with. So, yeah, but it doesn't have that illumination to it. Okay, a product that I have used for so long, gone through so many bottles of this. This is the, oh, I love this one. The Kerastase, this is the initial lease. It's, it's like fertilizer for your scalp, that's what I say. Um, you know, how you grow, put miracle Grow on your flowers and you get those beautiful flowers. That's basically what this is to me. Um, it just gives me just really nice, healthy hair. I mean, I'm 54. I've color treated my hair since I was 15 years old. Y'all do the math. So, I mean, there's a whole lot of processing that goes, you know, into getting my keeping my hair light, highlighted and everything. But, I mean... This is just a, a fabulous product. I love it. So, yeah, I've already got a backup in there. Sicily. And this is the uh, the Black Rose Cream Mask. I am so thankful that I just got a sample of this because if I would have gotten, you know, a full jar of this stuff, I would have been so upset. This is what it looks like, okay? Now, I followed the directions on there. It said go ahead, you know, and 
put it on your skin, put a nice little, you know, layer on there, and it's supposed to give you some nice hydration, blah, 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 blah. All right. So, anyway, after, and, and I've heard so many, I'm, oh, jeez, I hate this. Anyway, I'm just going to be honest here and give my two cents. If you love this, that's wonderful, but I'm going to tell you why this did not work for me, okay? It said, the directions on it said that you can uh, tissue this off, okay? You take a tissue and tissue it off. If you just tissue this stuff off and there is any type of residue of this on your skin, it is sticky, it is tacky. I went to bed and I was like, you know, my pillowcase was like stuck to my face. I rolled over and literally it felt like my pillowcase just peeled right off my skin. Glad I did not waste my money to get this and I got a sample of it, so no thanks. All right, so the last two products that I have, I love these. I absolutely love these products. This is by City Beauty. The first one is called the Invisicrape Body Balm. And then I also got the Multi-Action Sculpting Cream. These products are absolutely phenomenal, and I mixed the two of them together. This is what I used on my neck from like here down to, you know, about right here. Every morning, every single night, just a little bit goes such a long ways. Now, I will tell you, and I know that several of you have commented down below in the little comment section wanting to know what I have been using on my neck. Um, a couple of you have also um, instant messaged me over there on Instagram asking me, ladies, this is, what I, this is what really has changed my neck around so much. Now, I mean, long ago when I first started doing my videos, I mean, y'all can go back and go, go look through. I mean, my neck was so bad because sun damage and just years of just neglect that I purely neglected my, you know, the skin on my neck. I mean, it really, really was horrible. My neck still has such a long ways to go. It does. And I know that, you know, I need to go have the Fraxel done or some type of laser, laser or something like that just to really give it that boost. But for a cream, a cream product, I mean, these two have done the most out of any cream products that I have ever used, any of them. I mean, I have used the Neocutis neck, the Revision neck, the Naya, what is it, the Naya 24 or something. I mean, I have used so, so many neck creams, so many. Bare Minerals, right now I'm using the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Neck Cream. I like it, but I don't love it. I love these. They are absolutely wonderful. Um, you know, the Invisicrape, the, uh, body balm here. This one really does help with that crepey skin. I mean, my neck used to be like really crepey. And also I had a bunch of those teeny tiny little white bumps that I get on, uh, you know, that you can get underneath your skin. I had a bunch of them and it got rid of so many. I still have just a teeny tiny little patch of them, but I mean, it took so many of those away. And the multi-action sculpting cream, this is it, it does firm for me I mean I can literally after I put this on I can sit there and I almost feel like a little bit of lifting a little bit of tightening in my skin and just a combination of these two together they really are wonderful so um, you know I am 100% confident that when I finish up that neck cream by it cosmetics I'm gonna go ahead and repurchase these they're really wonderful Okay, I do want to also say that if some of these products that I didn't particularly care for, if they are products that you really do love, um, I'm certainly not trying to be hateful or ugly here at all. Um, you know, I mean, just like you, I fall into the hype of products a lot of times, you know, when they get built up here, especially on YouTube. And there's so many ladies that love it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it too, you know. And then when you try it, you know, and it just, you're like, oh, darn, it's so frustrating. Why didn't it work for me? You know, I know that y'all have been there. I mean, I have been there so many times. So if that is a particular product that, that works well for you, then I'm very happy. You know, I wish it would have worked for me, but okay, that is going to do it for this video. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much for stopping by and hanging out with me. And as always, I wish you all a safe and a wonderful day. Bye.